What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to find and do keyword research. Keyword re and I'm not just keyword research, I'm going to show you how to actually find good high intent keywords and the type of keywords that you should avoid. Because if you choose the wrong keywords, it doesn't matter how great your campaign is, in any marketing situation, it's going to tank horribly and not convert. So if you come into your AdWords account, we're going to come up here, I don't know if you can see on my screen, we're going to come up to tools and settings, a little wrench icon, you're going to click that, it's going to have this pull down box, you're going to go to keyword planner, and here you're going to be able to uh, start doing your keywords. So let's just say today we're going to try and build a campaign for, let's do, uh, let's do an HVAC guy. So we'll just do uh, the generic keyword theme first to find all of our ad groups and keywords. So we'll do HVAC. HVAC company. All right, let's see what we get with that. Get results. Let me kind of walk you through my mindset when I'm trying to choose keywords. All right, so let's say that this company is not just the entire United States. Let's say it's a local, so it's, let's just say Philadelphia, because that's where our biggest city or I'm near. We'll get rid of the United States. Save. Okay. So these are the search volumes for my specific location, not the entire United States. So you want to make sure you have that. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. <clears throat> you can actually create a plan in, and save it. And you can either build a campaign with that plan or you can just find your keywords in here and just put them in an Excel sheet and build out your ad groups, which is probably what most of you guys will end up doing anyway. Let me, uh, let me just, I'm just going to just for example, just to show you how to choose a keyword. So I'm going to go the easy route. I'm just going to pull up a thing here and we'll put the keywords in here in an ad groups just to show you. So this is actually the keyword match type thing I do I use but um, I'm gonna use it right now just to show you how to do the ad groups all right so we're trying to find ad groups ad groups remember are themes so an, a good ad group would be HVAC company so that's our ad group one now remember you would be putting this in a spreadsheet or a plan or whatever in the keyword planner but for now I'm just gonna show you how I do it just to find the keywords all right, so ad group one, HVAC company. So all the only keywords we're going to find in um, in this for this ad group are going to be have the word company or companies in them. I don't know why you spelled that wrong. All right, so we'll filter. So now it's going to show us all the keywords with the word company in them. But remember, these are all great keywords, but we need, the ad group we're doing is HVAC. So if it's not HVAC oriented, we can't use these. It doesn't look like they are. So let's change that out. Let's go to this. And let's just do a little scrolling here. Okay, here's a good one. HVAC companies near me. So we'll take that one. We want to bid on that. Put that under our ad group. HVAC service near me. Nope, that's not it. Contractors. Um, you can. I usually separate contractors and and company into two different ad groups. So ad group one will have HVAC companies. Ad group two HVAC contractors. Just so keep that in mind. So like these are all. I these are all good things. That, so when you're sorting through your keywords, I should I should go back a little bit. When you start sorting through your keywords to find your ad groups, then your keywords for inside your ad groups. This is what Google is telling you is relevant to your main search, which is HVAC company. So if you were bidding broad match for HVAC company, your ad would show for pretty much all of these. And as you can see, some of them are not great keywords that your ad show for. Like American Standard HVAC is another company. So is this, I think. I mean, these are not, these are, these would be good negatives to pull too and build a negative list. So this is a, a little quick hack to build your negative list, something like this, like Mitsubishi HVAC, like that is a great negative keyword. And um, so I just keep that in mind when you're going through your keywords too. Like this is an easy way to um, to find your negative keywords. <clears throat> All right. So best HVAC system. No. No, no, no. So that looks like, all right, instead of just digging through here, I think we're just going to roll with our small little ad group there. 
because I'm not really seeing too many company. Let's you know what, let's do companies. That might give us better results. All right, there we go. There's a good keyword. So we'll take that one. Local HVAC companies. That's a good one. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of rooting out any keyword that has HVAC companies in it and is relevant to the ad group we're building. All right, so commercial HVAC companies, that might seem like a good one. That's not a good one for this ad group. This should go into a commercial HVAC ad group, commercial HVAC company ad group. All right, so that's kind of like like heating and cooling companies. Here. These are all great. This is, this is HVAC. Like heating and air conditioning is HVAC, but these are their own. These are all their own ad groups. So that's what I'm trying to stress here to you guys is to – is to, to when you're watching this is to break these off into into different ad groups. I'm kind of just showing you my my logic behind choosing the keyword. So best HVAC companies, that's a really good one. Put that right there. Top AC companies, that's a different ad group. Best HVAC companies near me, that's a good one. You might be like thinking like, dude, these have 10 search volumes a month or whatever. Like, why are you bidding on them? But these are good keywords. They they convert so. If you add a bunch of tens up, you're going to get a decent amount of traffic. Top HVAC companies, we'll take that. The most important part is using is finding the high intent keywords, because like something like best AC companies near me or home heating companies near me, th these would not be good keywords. Even though they're very relevant to what we're trying to th the type of traffic we're trying to get, these are not the type of keywords that you want to find and put inside of an HVAC company ad group. All right. All right. So HVAC repair companies, largest HVAC companies. That's not too bad. So let's just move on to the next one. So we'll take ad group two. We're going to do HVAC. Let's do HVAC Philadelphia. We'll do a geo ad group because that's really important too. So HVAC Philadelphia. And we got to go up here and throw that into the keyword planner here. Philadelphia. I think I spelled that wrong. Yep. All right, one second. There we go. HVAC companies. Oh, we still have company on here. All right, so we'll get rid of that. Perfect. All right, so HVAC repair. So there's another thing, too, with the geo ad groups. Now, you can break these off into several geo ad groups. I can do HVAC repair Philadelphia, HVAC services Philadelphia, HVAC company Philadelphia. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to put these under this one ad group and then we you can always you can always just put them all under the one ad group and then break them up later so HVAC service Philadelphia now let's just let's take an eye let's let's go through here and let's see some keywords that we would not want to add all right so if we're going down here like furnace repair Philadelphia this is something that should go into its own ad group all right so my whole point of coming across here, and I'm sure you get it by now, because I have to, I just keep repeating it, but I, it's the only way people will learn, is you have to be hyper-specific in your ad groups. That's how you get these campaigns that I keep showing you guys that convert at 30%, 40%, is because you know we're hyper-specific, and the match types are so important. I mean, I have campaigns sometimes, and in, in if it's a big enough geolocation, where I'll just run exact match only, and I'll, and I'll do like an auto-bid strategy, and like Google just go nuts with it, and sometimes those work the best. All right, so Ferguson HVAC, that's obviously a company that's not a good keyword. This is something we might want to take a negative is just take the word Ferguson and do that as a negative keyword. Green HVAC, that's not good. Green heating, not good. So that'd be a, that would be a nice uh, negative, green heating. Yeah, these all these are pretty good keywords, though, to be honest with you. Philadelphia air conditioning. So that's that's just too general. That's not a high intent keyword. All right. So the, these are the types of keywords you kind of want to avoid, unless at least at first. All right. If you want to test these down the line after you have a campaign dialed in, that's you know bringing phone calls. That's fine. But initially, when you're building your campaigns, you don't want to go after generic Philadelphia air conditioning or HVAC Philadelphia, like my main theme keyword. That's just so broad. I mean, that could it's going to rake in a lot of crap that you don't want. See, like these are the good high intent keywords: air conditioning repair, Philadelphia. So you know someone has an urgent need, like they need, they're looking on Google for someone to come out and repair their air conditioning unit. All right, that's called high intent. 
AC repair. That's that's high intent. <clears throat> so let's see what else. Let's see what's a not high intent. Heating and cooling, Philadelphia. That's an example of a, a not high intent keyword. Philadelphia air conditioning, not high intent. HVAC contractors, high high intent. HVAC repair, Philadelphia PA, high intent. Repair, high intent. Installation, that's a great keyword. That would be its, its own ad group because those are extremely valuable search terms. Unique HVAC Philadelphia, not really. I'm not really into that one. Commercial HVAC Philadelphia is definitely its own ad group. So that, that's pretty much it. I'm just kind of running through these to show you an example of how I do it. But you guys, you know, just the most important thing when you're when you're building your ad groups and finding your keywords is intent. You have to make sure that your intent is perfect. All right. So now that I've showed you how to look for intent and what and how to avoid non-intent, you guys should be good to go. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the red subscribe button down below. And if you have any comments about or questions or anything like that about how to find more high intent keywords, just drop them in the comment section below this video and I'll jump in there and answer as best I can. Thanks, guys.